A no pro painter for removing content from a video screen. Like this, I just use the prompt words to mask out the little girl in the video. It was repaired immediately. Then there's a little flaw here. This can be done through your cutout. Adjust the cutout settings. Then I will introduce it in detail. Mainly this node per pencha. He will expand the mask of the video and then repair it. Here is a detailed introduction to its usage instructions. This will make it easier for everyone to use this node. He will understand if you compare it directly. Here is his, the number of iteration steps. If you want better, then you improve. This is mask expansion. This is growth expansion. So use to repeat its X. Okay, let me start from the beginning. The first step is, in fact, you need to disable these first when using them. Because your first step is to cut out the picture. After you are satisfied with the cutout, proceed further. Afterwards, what kind of enlargement and restoration will make sense? So here we will import one from here by default. You can directly click on this to import a video or something. Then this will be the default. The frame number is adjusted to zero equal to the default. Same here. I now add this annotation to all workflows in my notes. Detailed instructions for use. In this way, when everyone uses it, don't be afraid of forgetting because I have annotated everything. If you open the new version, you will find that everything is annotated. This way you avoid forgetting. Because I started in a mess, you will also forget. And here is a combination model of semantic segmentation. This is its model. Choose high or medium or low. Anyway, I usually choose the highest one, bottom two. This is a node of its semantic segmentation. You can cut out the content you want, fill it in. It will automatically recognize, then automatically convert it into a black and white video through this mask. Mask video. This is basically enough. I won't change it. It doesn't mean much. No need to go out of your way to change it. This is the author's default setting. And I have written a simple explanation here. Then here is a brief introduction. This. Explain that this is for video use only. Frame rate, ETC. It's best to keep the frame rate the same. If you are satisfied with the cutout, you can open these next. Run these workflows. It makes sense. This zooms in. Video amplification is for later repair. The effect produced, a bit like. Get his picture information. This effect, so this step is the default and is required. Then it's time to get to his main node. Video repair node. The details are here. If you look at the corresponding ones, you will be able to use them to expand the mask. This way it will be more perfect when he repairs it. There will be no flaws on the edges. Because some may still have flaws, you can further increase this expansion. Expansion. Expand the mask and make it a little bigger. Of course, I generally wouldn't pick out such a this large This is suitable object. for picking out small If you cut objects. out a large screen area, he is not suitable. After all, the current technology for video generation is still not good enough. Only video repair. If you need to cut out the shadow, you need to fill in the shadow on the side of the semantic segmentation in front of you. Annotate. Let yeah. him dig them out too. This just pulls the previous video over. Then look at the comparison effect. I have introduced this here. Front. 
the export video format and so on are all here. In this introduction, just for everyone's reference, annotations make it easier for everyone to If use. you want to use it locally, you can click on mine, not click on this video to remove and repair it. This contains its necessary installation notes and detailed screenshots. There is also a process. Then download the workflow. If you don't want to install it and just want to use you it, you can click on my terminal cloud image. Just click on it. People like me are the mirror image of Duena Cloud. Open it right here. If you don't see this workflow, that means the platform has not been updated to the latest version. Just click it again in a few days. If not, you can download it from my notes. Drag the workflow in. Just install another node. Because I have already installed the semantic segmentation here, you don't need to install this node anymore. Just install this node. Okay, that's a for this. Let's go play.